you know, my least favorite thing is when a good penny gets all dirty. This one's turned green. As you can easily see, it's not very good. But there is a way to clean the pennies. The copper and the pennies, the reason that they turn green is the copper and the pennies slowly reacts with the air to form copper oxide. Pure copper is bright and shiny, but copper oxide is dull and greenish, like this one. <sighs> But there is the easy way to clean the pennies. Now I have two things that will clean the pennies. I have acidic acid or vinegar and sodium chloride. Two teaspoons of that. Otherwise known as salt. Now the vinegar and the salt have their chemical things, like the chemical equations. And the chemical equation for them is acidic acid plus sodium chloride added together results in hydrochloric acid and sodium acetate. Now I have the dirty penny that I showed you. Now it's very important that they were made before 1982 because before 1982 they used like more real copper in the pennies. And now they just don't use as much. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the half a cup of vinegar and I've got cleaned glass. I'm going to pour the half a cup of vinegar in very slowly. Now that I have that in there, I'm going to take one half teaspoon, well, one teaspoon, sorry, of salt and pour it in. Then take the other teaspoon of salt. Sorry. The other teaspoon of salt and pour it in there. Now I have just a spoon and I'm going to mix it around until all the salt dissolves in the vinegar. And every once in a while just kind of stop and see if the salt is dissolved yet. I have to stir it around a little bit more. Now I don't know if the camera can tell this but it has turned a whitish color, but now that we have all of our salt dissolved, I'm going to take the penny and hold it with the tongs halfway and dip it in for about 15 seconds. Now it's got the dirtiest part there, and I'm going to hold it in there for 15 seconds. seconds. It's easy to tell, and I'm going to bring it up to you and show you, that it has cleaned off. This is the side that I dipped in. This is the side that I didn't dip in. This half is shiny. This half is dull. Well, now that I already have, well, the hydrochloric acid dissolves the copper oxide, leaving behind shiny, clean pennies. Well, now that I have this all set up, I have 30 still very, very dirty pennies. I'm going to take these 30 pennies, put them in my hand, and put them into the solution. And then after that, we're going to wait about 5 minutes, take them out, and one half I'm going to take over the sink and rinse. The other half, I'm just going to leave right here. But, first of all, let's put these pennies in. The, hyd the pennies are in the hydrochloric acetate and sodium, well, sodium acetate. And they're going to stay there for the five minutes. And then I'll take them out and I'll go and rinse 15 of them and just put 15 right down there. 
and then we'll check them in about an hour. Well, now that I have these pennies set up, and I've got the rinsed pennies and the unrinsed pennies, I've got another fun little experiment you can do while you're waiting for the hour. And it involves that solution, which is copper oxide and hydrochloric acid, which results in copper chloride and water. Now I have four steel nails here, just regular steel nails. I'm going to take two of them, and I'm going to drop them into the solution. And then we're going to wait about ten minutes, and when we come back, hopefully there will be the copper-plated nails. Now, the iron and the steel nails is going to combine with the copper and the copper chloride solution will, and will result in the copper being deposited on the steel nail. This is a method of copper plating. During the break, the iron nails, well, the steel nails, sorry, were bubbling. And that bubbling was hydrogen gas bubbling off the nails as water is formed. Now, we have the chemical equation for the copper-plated nails are, well, is, sorry, copper chloride plus water plus iron ends up as copper plus iron plus water. And you have the chemical equations there and there. Now I'm going to take out both of them and I'm going to bring them up and compare with just a single steel nail. And hopefully you'll be able to see the difference. I definitely can. We have one copper nail on your right. Copper nail on your right, this one, copper plated nail, which is rubbing all over my hands, and then a just regular iron nail on your left. Easy to tell the difference, isn't it? Well, now that we have those, well, while we're waiting, oh, sorry, the copper chloride and the water combined with the steel in the nail and this result and this result in the copper binding to the iron in the steel nail. As you can see the nail is now copper plated. Once again. As you can see the pennies I did not rinse I've turned into a greenish blue color. I'm trying to pick out the best ones to show you. Those ones right there. See how they have the greenish blue coloring on them? And even the paper towel over here has a greenish blue tint from where all the, the, these pennies were sitting. And then the ones that we did rinse off definitely shiny. I mean, really? Look at those. Those are just five, and those are probably the dull ones. As the chemical called maculite forms on the pennies because the salt and the vinegar promotes a reaction between the copper and the oxygen in the air. The other pennies will slowly dull over time once again, sadly. Now if you ever have any pennies you want to clean, just remember after you put them in the solution, rinse them off. And keep in mind, salt and vinegar works the best. 